Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my Mercury Vapor Bulb collection. So, let's get started with part two. Here we have some type of no-name bulb. There is no name on this bulb. But it is 175 watts. Very different. Somebody wrote good on it. Here we have a GE 175 watt. You can see its arc tube is very, well, is in very good condition actually. Somebody wrote works on it. And is a pretty good bulb. Here we have a GE 175 watt. Its arc tube is in very good condition. And works like a charm. Here we have a GE 175 watt. There you can see the insides. The arc tube is very blackened, but this bulb still works. It is a very dark green when it is on, though. Here we have a Sylvania 100 watt spotlight bulb. It is a PAR 38, I believe. You can see its arc tube in there somewhat. This bulb is brand new. I have two of these and they're both brand new. But the socket, the um, sockets are a very different shape. It's like add medium or something like that. And I can't find a socket for them. But there you go. This one is a Philips 175 watt. Its arc tube is turning white. So this bulb is getting old, but it still works very well. Here we have a Westinghouse 275 watt sun lamp. You can see its arc tube right down there, and the filament is right up in here. It is a pretty nice bulb, and it still works. I will have a separate video of this bulb coming up sometime soon. Here we have a 100 watt Westinghouse lifeguard bulb. Here's the bulb itself and this piece of paper is who it was inspected by. This box is in perfect condition and there's when it was made. But here's the bulb. which is in amazing condition because I got this with one of my area lights the American Electric area light. Here we have a Westinghouse 100 watt now this is the Chinese Westinghouse it is nothing like the one that I just showed you but is still a pretty good bulb. Here we have a Regent 100 and 125 watt bulb. We will open up this box. And here is the bulb itself. It's pretty decent. Here we have a Westinghouse 175 watt. Once again the Chinese Westinghouse. And what's weird about this box is that they have the 1000 watt mercury vapor bulb on it instead of a 175 watt bulb. This is one of my favorite designs from the new Westinghouse although it's not very good quality. Here we have a newer Westinghouse 175 watt bulb. Now the design will be different than the one that I just showed you. They went back to their old design but still this is not very good quality at all. The socket is put on slanted which you can kind of see there. 
and this little piece down here moves around. So, hmm, it's a decent bulb, I guess. I like the design of it, though. Hope you enjoyed part two of my Mercury Vapor Bulb collection. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Click in the description below for part three. Thank you.